NASA's revolutionary X-59 quiet supersonic research aircraft has officially entered a new phase of testing, low-speed taxi trials. This milestone marks the first time this one-of-a-kind experimental jet has moved under its own power, inching closer to its highly anticipated maiden flight. On July 10, 2025, the runway at U.S. Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, became the stage for a defining moment in aviation history. The X-59 rolled forward, graceful, stable, and nearly silent under its own thrust as NASA test pilot Niels Larsen and Lockheed Martin Skunk Works team guided it through its first low-speed taxi test. But what moved that day wasn't just an aircraft. It was the future of supersonic flight. For decades, the dream of quiet overland supersonic travel has remained elusive. The Concorde may have been a technological marvel, but its deafening sonic booms kept it confined to routes over oceans. Regulations banned supersonic flight over populated land due to the disturbance it caused. Now, the X-59 Quest, short for Quiet Supersonic Technology, is on track to break not just the sound barrier, but the legal and environmental barriers that have kept high-speed commercial flight grounded for over half a century. Developed under NASA's Quest mission and built by Lockheed Martin, the X-59 isn't just an experiment, it's a flying revolution. Every inch of this sleek aircraft has been engineered to minimize its sonic footprint. With a nearly 100-foot-long fuselage, a narrow pointed nose, and a uniquely sculpted body, the X-59 doesn't eliminate shockwaves, it rearranges them. Instead of creating a sharp, window-rattling boom, the aircraft produces a gentle thump, projected at around 75 decibels, no louder than a car door closing from a distance. This makes it possible for supersonic flight to occur overland without disrupting communities. The recent taxi test is far more significant than a routine systems check. It represents the final stage of ground-based validation. As the aircraft slowly picked up speed across the tarmac, engineers monitored steering, braking, and handling. Every moment was data, collected to confirm that the aircraft is ready to transition from ground to sky. In the coming weeks, the X-59 will undergo high-speed taxi tests, bringing it just shy of takeoff. Then, by the end of 2025, it's expected to make its historic first flight. Let's talk specs. The X-59 is powered by a single GEF 414 GE 100 turbofan engine, the same core engine used in the U.S. Navy Super Hornets. It generates approximately 22,000 pounds of thrust, allowing the aircraft to cruise at Mach 1.4, or roughly 940 miles per hour at an altitude of 55,000 feet. Its Delta-style wings and top-mounted engine intake are designed for aerodynamic efficiency and acoustic shielding, keeping engine noise away from the ground. But perhaps the most futuristic feature is its cockpit. There's no forward-facing window. Instead, the X-59 uses a high-resolution 4K external vision system, feeding real-time visuals into the pilot's panoramic display, supported by Collins Aerospace's ProLine Fusion Avionics Suite. This not only preserves the aircraft's sleek profile, but also marks a radical departure from traditional flight decks, one that could shape the next generation of both commercial and military cockpits. So why does all of this matter? Because the X-59 isn't just proving that supersonic can be quiet, it's setting the stage for new global regulations. Starting in 2026, NASA will begin flying the X-59 over select U.S. communities to collect public feedback on the aircraft's noise. This data will be analyzed and submitted to both U.S. and international aviation authorities, including the FAA and ICAO, with the goal of updating current laws that prohibit supersonic flight over land. In other words, this plane isn't just flying, it's making policy. And while NASA insists that the X-59 is purely civilian, the implications for military aviation are undeniable. Mastering quiet supersonic travel opens new doors for stealth missions, rapid response aircraft, and next-gen command platforms. With its low acoustic profile, high speed, and advanced digital cockpit, the X-59's tech could be scaled or adapted for reconnaissance, executive transport, or high-speed ISR roles 
all without giving away position via sonic signature. In an increasingly competitive aerospace landscape, where China's experimenting with hypersonic drones and Russia boasts long-range strike aircraft, NASA's X-59 is an elegant counterpoint. It's not just fast, or quiet, or futuristic. It's strategic. By focusing on environmental impact, public perception, and long-term policy, the U.S. is quietly asserting leadership not just in speed, but in shaping the rules of the sky. So, as the X-59 glides silently across the California desert, it carries more than fuel and instrumentation. It carries the weight of what comes next. A future where time zones shrink, where noise doesn't equal power, and where the sound barrier isn't shattered, but gracefully redefined.